Super Bowl aspirations class with desperation dances. Can your favorites survive this week's final gauntlet? Get ready for predictions and more tension than Hail Mary on fourth down. Kimbrough Nader here, your week 18's picks with a special guest in the house, guys. We have none other than my kid brother. He's right over there. Who are you? Hey, guys. I'm Stephen Kimbrough. I'm the six-year younger version of Kimbrough Nader. The one that thinks he's in his prime. Yeah. Well, we'll just leave it at that. So, yeah. All righty. All righty. So, we got week 18 picks, guys. It's going to be a crazy week. Final week of the season. Maybe some upsets here. So, let's dive right in. Right below me, you see we got our first game up is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens. Who do you got, Steven? I'm going to go with Baltimore. I like Lamar Jackson at home. Can't go wrong with the number one team in the NFL, and that's what I'm going to go with as well. So Lamar Jackson will take over the Steelers, and they are playing at home. They're rock solid. So let's go to the next game up. We have Houston travels to Indianapolis to play the Colts. This is a going to be a close game, I would do. I would think. What do you think? I would agree as well. Indy's playing pretty tough right now, but I really like what C.J. Stroud has been doing for Houston here lately. I think uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I'm going to go with Houston. Houston. And just so you know, we did not look ahead. I made my picks. We just got on the call. I've got Houston as well. I like Stroud as well. Uh, next up, rock through these uh, picks for you guys so we don't rock this video on long. We got Cleveland travels to Cincinnati to to play the Bengals. What you think? I think Joe Flacco, you know, going from where he was a little bit over a month ago to where he is now, I, I think I'm going to go with him, even though they're playing at Cincy. Uh, give me Flacco. I'll take give Flacco, Flacco. the Browns. I agree with you, man. I like that Cleveland's defense. I've said it from week eight or nine now. I really like Cleveland's defense. I'm going to go with Cleveland as well, and especially the veteran quarterback at the helm there, taking over for another good quarterback. Next up, we have Minnesota taking on Detroit. What do you think? I, 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 know I, I, is... I'm suspect on Minnesota. They've had some moments, but – They've already burned me, so I think Detroit's got Minnesota, and they're playing at home. Detroit's pissed off from last week losing the Cowboys. So I think they're going to go in this game with a vengeance, and they're like, do or die, we're going to take it to them. Yeah, they're going to be frustrated at everything. They're going to be frustrated at the trash can in the locker room. They're going to take it out on Minnesota for sure. Give me Detroit. Detroit it is. Next up, we have Jacksonville travels to Tennessee. Um, give me Trevor Lawrence. I think Jacksonville, you know, they're, they're on the uptick, right? They're building something there. They're building something for long-term success. And I think Trevor Lawrence is the guy in Tennessee is kind of on the downhill decline in my opinion. Uh, so definitely to give me Jacksonville, even though it's at Tennessee. I, I agree with you. I, I like Jacksonville in this matchup as well. Trevor Lawrence is a right uh, direction for Jacksonville to head. So Easy pick here, guys. Jacksonville it is. Uh, next up, the Jets play the New England Patriots in New England. The last game for Belichick to be a New England Patriot. So, who you got? Wait, who you got going out if, if this is That's potentially Belichick. his last? I, I got New England taking the Jets easily this game. Easily. Um, you know what? Give me the Jets. The storyline says it's the Patriots, but I'll take the Jets. Take the Jets. Rock on. Uh, next up, Atlanta travels to New Orleans. I'll take the Dirty Birds. Give me the Falcons. The Falcons it is for mm-hmm. you. Um, I was kind of torn. I'm, I'm going to go with New Orleans. I think New Orleans has got the edge going in this game. That's the teams are evenly – the records are pretty evenly matched. So, I'm going to say New Orleans on that game. Uh, next up, 
Tampa Bay travels to Carolina to take on the worst team in the NFL. Yeah, uh, I really like what Tampa Bay's defense has done over the past couple of weeks, Kimbra. I think, uh, you know, Carolina, it's just been a downhill effect for them all season long, and, and that continues for the last game of the year. So give me Tampa. On the, the same for me as well. Tampa will take on and give Carolina their final loss of the season. We move on next to Chicago travels to Green Bay to take on the Packers. Classic rivalry. Um, Chicago's not playing great of late, though. Uh, give me Jordan Love in, in Green Bay. I'll take the cheese heads. The cheese heads it is. I got to go with that as well. Cheese heads it is on this pick for me, too. Next up, <clears throat> Denver travels to Las Vegas just right down the road for them. What do you think with Denver benching Russell Wilson? Who 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 you got for this one? I'm gonna take Antonio Pierce and the Raiders in this one because man, he's fighting for a coaching job. Some of those players on that team, they're fighting for, you know, more money, positions, all that. So, you know, it's it's up in the air who's gonna get it. I think the best option would be to let Antonio Pierce keep that job, but um I think the Raiders, it's their final home game of this season after a tremendous season losing their coach, you know, yeah. staff. So <clears throat> I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm going to disagree with you. I think Sean Payton, you know, the decision to bench Russell Wilson, I think Sean Payton's going to be out for blood. I think he's going to have those players ready, uh, you know, to try to prove his point with, uh, you know, the replacement, not believing in Russell Wilson. So I'll take That's the true. Broncos. I like it. I like it. Pick. Awesome. Good shoot. Good pick. Uh, next up, the Eagles take on the Giants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Eagles um, are on the slide, man. This is a t this is a tough one for me. I think I think Philadelphia at the end of the year, you know, they were in the Super Bowl last year. Jalen Hurts and them came really close. I think even though they've been on a slot, I think they stopped it. So give me the Eagles. I agree with you. The Eagles have been on a huge downslide. They're losing to the uh, nearly last – well, last place team in the Cardinals last week. They've been losing games. So I think this is their comeback week. I would say they will take on the Giants and beat them easily. Uh, next up we have Seattle traveling to Arizona. Arizona's coming off a wing against the Eagles. So right, right. I'm gonna go with the uh Seattle, the twelfth man. Uh as Colin Cowherd would say, the the Seattle uh sea chickens as he used to call them. <laughs> I agree with you. I think uh Seattle. I, I I think Arizona they found they found a groove last week, but I think Seattle's gonna come in and take it right out from under them. So give me Seattle. Awesome, awesome. Next up, we have Kansas City traveling to uh, Los Angeles so far to play, take on the Chargers. You got Patrick Mahomes or Justin Herbert? Which one you got? Patrick Mahomes is being benched. That's right. Yeah. Uh, give me the Chargers. Give you the Chargers? All take right. The Charger. Char take the Chargers. Mm -hmm. Right on. I'm going to take the Chiefs yeah. still. I'm going to stick with the Chiefs. Next up, the Rams traveling down the road to San Francisco take on the 49ers. Brock Purdy. Give me Brock, Brock Purdy. Purdy. I'll take Brock the 49ers. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. That's what I'm going to go with as well. Okay. Cowboys and Redskins. Classic NFL right here. Mm -hmm. Who do you got? They're playing in Washington. Dallas didn't seal a division. Yeah, they did. They can seal it. They did. Yeah, okay. they've, they've got, well, still depend. It's still up in the in what happens this week. So, I will tell you that I think Washington, they're going to give them everything they got. Agree. It's a rivalry game. Yeah. That's going to happen every single time, no matter the records, no matter the division. So, I think Dallas comes out ready to play. I'll give me the Cowboys. I'll take the Cowboys. Cowboys. I agree. 
I, I think the Cowboys are well. Last up, Buffalo traveling to Miami. Who you got? Part of me was initially wanting to pick Miami. You know, they're playing at home. They're trying to seal it up. Their last win this, this season. But, man, I think Buffalo, they, they got, they're got 10-6. and six. I think they're going to go in and, and, and take Miami in Miami. So I'm going to go with Buffalo. That's just my my guess. Maybe you're wrong. Buffalo hasn't had a normal year for Buffalo, considering their past three to four years, right, with uh, Josh mm-hmm. Allen. I like what Mike McDaniels has been doing with Miami. And they're at home. Primetime game. It is primetime. Give me, give me Miami. I think it's going to be a close game. I would say Miami by three. Miami by three. Rocket, man. Rocket. Nice. That is going to wrap up the picks there. Any last words before we drop? No, thank you for having me. Um, it's already hard to believe it's been the last week of the NFL season, but uh, can't wait for the playoffs. Let's see what happens from here. That is true. That is true. Well, thanks for being on. Hey, and guys, thank you for checking out this video. Be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, turn on the little bell notification to catch our future updates and videos and my live streams when I catch games as well. Camera later out. We'll see you guys later.